What's going on out there, everybody? I hope you are doing wonderfully today. It is a lovely day here in Iwakuni, Japan. So I naturally am inside. Now, I just, I just got home, so I've been outside all day. But today, I wanna talk to you about my brand new toy. I went to pick it up at the post office today. It is colossal. I was surprised at how big the box was. But this is the Alienware AW3418HW Ultra Wide 1440x3440 120Hz G-Sync Monitor. And I am pumped, if you couldn't tell. Okay, so before we unbox this monstrosity, let's just burn through some specs real quick so you guys know what we're working with. Um, this is, as I mentioned before, a 34 inch ultra wide running at 3440 by 1440, um, my preferred resolution. This thing took about three weeks to get here. Uh, shipping was $200. <laughs> Getting things here is not easy, especially if you want US prices. Um, it is possible, especially if you're patient. But oh my goodness, I'm so excited that this is here because it's, it's been a while. So um, moving on with the specs, uh, we are looking at a two millisecond response time and we are running at 120 hertz with G-Sync. It's a beautiful thing. This is my first G-Sync monitor. Uh, everything I've had before has been FreeSync. This thing will run you, depending on where you get it, um, between 1,000 and 1,200 US dollars. I did get it used, which is awesome. So I paid right around half that, which I'm just ecstatic about. So what are we looking at for IO? Well, we have a single DP, a single HDMI. Uh, it does have a USB 3.0 hub with four USB-A ports on it. We have sound pass through, and of course we've got power. Um, that's probably about all that we can go through before we actually pull out of the box. But uh, what I'm going to do initially here, I'm going to nix the stand completely. I'm not even going to put it on the stand, but I'll comment on the stand a little bit, just, you know, whether it's chintzy or, or you know, what it looks like it's going to hold up. But this thing's going straight on a vase mount, and it's being mounted uh, right now. It's going to be mounted above my 1080p monitor until I get everything um, kind of assembled the way I want it to be. Uh, it's just kind of going to test it up there for now. And uh, yeah, we are going to go from there. So I'm going to get this monster out of the box and see what we're working with. I'm gonna say this is more well packaged than efficiently packaged. There is so much empty space here, and I feel like if this stand could just come apart in any way, shape, or form, then uh, they may have had uh, the ability to put it in a smaller box. But you know what? It's here, it's in one piece. I am not complaining. Okay, so in the box, other than the monitor and the stand itself, you get an HDMI to DP cable, a DP to DP cable, and a power cable. You can see the curvature on there is very nice. Uh, this is an 1800R curvature. The bezel on this thing is basically non-existent. And then uh, we got a very minimal uh, bottom piece here. Now our controls are, thank God, going to be a series of buttons here and not just like a single little control stick in the middle. Okay, so also we have got our sound pass through uh, right in the center. Not in love with that placement, but it is what it is. Uh, right in the center there, so I don't know. It is what it is, I'm not gonna be using that one anyway. Um, we got super speed, super speed, and then above that, two more super speeds back there, as well as the input, DP, HDMI, and the power. Oh, and a standard Vesa 120 mount. Now you'll see that there's these little pins or little contacts right here. And what those are for are for the pins on the stand right here. And uh, the reason why you would need pins on your stand is, of course, because it's, uh, you know, elite gamery. It lights up. It's got RGB. The stand itself has RGB. Um, <laughs> why not, I guess? It's super solid, like it's, this thing is super chunky. Um, and you get a pressurized uh, height adjustment as well as tilt. Uh, no rotation on this one, which is different from my other ones, but uh, it's perfectly acceptable. The quality of it feels just excellent. Like, I mean, yeah, well this thing's, this thing's a tank for sure. It's just, this thing will definitely, uh, definitely hold its own. 
And uh, of course you'll have a nice little light strip right there. You've got cable management. It's gonna come out the bottom of the monitor and then you can pop it out either side of the stand. So the stand gets lots of points from me. I have seen much worse stands than this um, and not many better. So excellent job on the stand. All right, so I'm gonna get this guy mounted up to my VESA arm, get it stuck up on the stand over there and we're gonna test it out a little bit, see what G-Sync looks like. Uh, I think I've used G-Sync once before, but never on something this colossal, and I'm very pumped about it. So I'm gonna get this arm mounted and move on. That's a pretty monitor. All right, so that's ta-da. Just ignore everything else, but ta-da. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to get uh, my machine booted up here, everything plugged in, and uh, we are gonna test out some games with that good old G-Sync. Ah, there we go. It's easy as actually setting your source. Kind of a duh situation. Uh, right here on the bottom, G-Sync display connected. All right. Gonna go to our monitor here. Set up G-Sync. Enable G-Sync is already checked for us on both of them. Make sure we're actually, oh, see we're already, we're only running at, you've gotta be fucking kidding me. It's a 1080p. It's, it's not even close to what, he sold me. No way in the world I would have purchased a 1080p monitor. Just wouldn't have done it. Just wouldn't have done it. 3440 by 1440 curved IPS, 120 hertz. And what are we seeing here? We are seeing 2560 by 1080, 144. Boy, oh boy, am I pissed right now. Well, I'm going to have to play with this a little bit and see if I'm just missing something or if uh, Homeboy here lied to me and sold me something and then shipped it across the entire planet. Um, I'll be back. Three hours later. So, I am what you might call annoyed, disappointed, angry, all of the above. So up here, we see the Alienware 34, AW3418HW, and that's what I received. Down here, we see the AW3420DW. That's what I thought I was gonna receive. This monitor is 3440 by 1440, 120 hertz G-Sync. This monitor, this monitor, is 2560 1080 144 hertz g-sync and it's an incredibly first world problem <laughs> i will admit that because it's a it's a it's a top tier monitor and to somebody it's the ultimate monitor it's not what i bought it's not what i wanted you know whatever i think this i think this 34 inch would have been a good deal uh that's why i was excited to get a good deal on it and that's not what happened so to salvage what we're doing right now because I've already put a lot of work into this obviously uh, Setting up the camera and filming and lights and all that stuff to begin with is work And I don't like to waste my time. So we're not gonna waste our time. I'm still going to review this monitor I'm going to review the AW3418 HW and uh, I'm going to try to look at it for what it is and not what I want it to be because I don't think that would be a very objective way to do it um, I think it's definitely a solid monitor and uh, we're going to go over the actual specs. All right, so the Alienware AW3418HW is a 2560 by 1080 ultra wide 34 inch monitor running at 144 hertz with G-Sync. This thing doesn't come with speakers though. This is a thousand dollar plus monitor that doesn't have speakers, but the sound pass through is fine. It's coming through your HDMI or your DP, whatever, and um, it, you can come out this 3.5 mil at the bottom here. And once this is actually down here as my primary, it's going to be easier to route it and stuff like that. Right now I got this like springy cable, um, which is allowing me to you know pull it wherever I need to pull it. 
So that's fine, that's good. <clears throat> and of course on the back here, as it is Alienware, we of course do have a nice little stripe. Rah! Stripe of addressable RGB there and there. And on the other side here, over here, there's a little alien head, the little logo. And that is also showing uh, whatever color the RGB is. I am still excited to see uh, 144 hertz G-Sync here. The only other monitor that I've tried with G-Sync uh, was that, I think it was a Viotech. And that was running, I think, at 240 hertz uh, video above, if you're interested in that. So this is my fastest ultra-wide that I've ever owned. It's also my first G-Sync. So it's, it's going to be a cool experience. I'm not, uh, not going to lie to you there. Okay, so after playing around a little bit before I actually got into a game, I did find that you can overclock this um, monitor in the in built-in monitor menus very, very easily. You can overclock it to 160 hertz. Another thing that I found out through the NVIDIA drivers uh, is that NVIDIA will actually allow you to upscale your monitor's performance. It'll allow you to um, dynamically upscale. So I'm actually running the monitor right now at uh, 5120 by 2160. So that is the equivalent of an ultra wide 4K resolution. And I'm running it at 160 Hertz because it will allow you to do both things simultaneously. Um, the upscaling itself happens on the GPU through the driver and obviously the refresh rate comes through the monitor's firmware itself. So I actually have been running this at that extremely high resolution um, at 160 hertz with zero problems whatsoever. But um, I will be downscaling that back down to the native resolution of 2560 by 1080 so we can actually see what the native performance of this monitor is um, running at 160 hertz overclock on the monitor firmware itself but running at its uh, native resolution. All right, so one thing that you do have to remember is that since we are recording an ultra wide screen here, I'm just doing it through OBS. Uh, that's why it's showing the big black bar at the bottom there. So I just shoved my camera in there. It works for me. But uh, yeah, I'm doing just a full screen recording. So we are uh, seeing everything at 2560 by 1080 instead of 1920 by 1080. So if you are on a, you know, a 16 by 9 monitor, it's going to look a little bit wonky. But uh, we're capturing the whole screen just so we can see everything that's going on. And I've got our performance up and running. 120 in the menu, 119 in the menu. It's always pinned right there. That's that's the max in the menu. All right, let's see how smooth she be. With it. Oi, no. Ah, terrorism! Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing so much as a micro stutter here. Uh, frame time staying around three milliseconds. Frames aren't as crazy as I thought they'd be, but uh, yeah, and it's it's smooth as butter. Oh god! Oh shit! Oh, what was that? I hit the wrong button, didn't I? Ah! Who? Where? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! I'm good at this game. All right, so CSGO held between like 250 to 300 frames. Warzone held between maybe 100 to 120. Um, so above smooth, below smooth. I'm expecting EFT to be way below. Uh, it's even less optimized, I believe, than, uh, than Warzone. Oh, shit. Okay, what, how are we running? How are we running? Oh! Oh god, okay, we're running at 35 frames right now. Uh, wow, we're running at 35 frames. I thought it would be worse. I didn't know it was going to be this much worse. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, well, there it is. <laughs> 80 frames, okay. Okay, good, good, good. Um, so we've still lost, uh, we've still lost 20 to 30 percent of our frames. And someone's here. I was probably pretty pissed because he's probably a scav. So yeah, we are running. That's much better. Okay, yeah, we're running eighty frames, eighty frames easy, and it is it is as smooth as I could expect. It's it's a lot smoother than I would normally expect. Yeah, it flows really nice. I'm not seeing any micro stutters now. It was not liking that fifty-one twenty by twenty-one sixty. It was not liking that at all. Bad. Oh shit! Raiders, raiders, raiders. I just want to take my stuff and leave. <gasps> <laughs> so you can see that everything ran extraordinarily smooth. Whether we're running two to three hundred FPS, um, you know, one to one twenty or right around 80, which is only half of the um, refresh rate that we're actually running this monitor at. I wasn't feeling any input lag of any sort or anything like that, and everything just felt very, very good uh, in general. Now, I have experienced um, a lot of lag, a lot of micro stutters, a lot of that kind of stuff in both COD and um, Tarkov. Tarkov is just kind of notoriously a hog and uh, not very well optimized at this point. But, uh, yeah, it, it ran extremely well, very, very smoothly. I can definitely get used to this uh, G-Sync life. So you can see that not only is it extremely smooth, thank you to that G-Sync, uh, the, the picture is actually quite sharp. Um, I'm able to run it on max everything, so um, anti-aliasing and everything is in full effect. And you're seeing really nice sharp edges, um, not really much stair-stepping at all. And this is even on a stretch 1080p panel like this. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. I am going to run this 100% of the time at either the 2K or the 4K upscaling um, because my computer can handle it and uh, I, I, I do prefer a little more clarity over frames. This is an IPS panel and the fact that they're getting IPS panels to run at uh, this extremely high uh, refresh rate is excellent. Um, off angles, if I'm, if I'm actually viewing it at even you know, sideways or something like that. If someone's sitting next to me here, they can very easily see it, especially, you know, the curve. The curve makes everything uh, really nice. Uh, 160 hertz with G-Sync is a beautiful thing. And um, yeah, no matter what, I'm definitely getting a G-Sync monitor, um, if, if whether I, I keep this one or sell it or whatever, but I'm definitely getting another G-Sync monitor. That is a lovely piece of tech and uh, I'm really enjoying it. So the question is now, Am I going to be keeping this monitor? And the answer is, for now, yes, I will be. Um, I think ultimately this was a mistake on the part of the seller, not an intentional uh, fallacy. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to play with it for a while. Initially, I was, of course, disappointed. But after actually playing around with this monitor for a while, I really am enjoying it. It is a high-quality piece of equipment. I still wish it had speakers. That's a bummer. And um, after using the, the built-in audio pass-through for quite a while, I'm not a fan of it. It doesn't have any punch at all, so I'm actually just going directly into my PC now. So I don't recommend using the onboard audio pass-through. Definitely come out of either a DAC or out of your PC. The uh, USB hub has been extremely awesome. It's been very reliable. Um, no cutting out or, or you know whatever, freezing or crashing or anything like that. Um, the menus are all really, really nice. They're very easy to move through. Everything is pretty logically laid out. And it's just a typical, uh, you know, four button, up, down, left, right kind of thing. Uh, and it works great. Um, there's plenty of options. And if you want to, uh, you know, overclock in the firmware like I did, it's very easy to do in there. And from there, you can also change the underglow lights and the, the back and stuff like that. And if you have the stand on it, um, instead of a vase amount like I have, then you can change that little strip on the back there too. And it's actually zoned, so you can choose what is what color at what time. If you are considering buying this monitor, then I would put this forward to you. Look around for prices. 
for the AW3420DW, as well as the AW3418HW. This is the HW, this is the 1080 version of this monitor, but the 1440 version can be had for right around the same price. So that does run at 120 hertz, and I'm sure it's overclockable to whatever, 100 and 130 or something like that. So really it's going to come down to your needs and your preferences. So I'm going to call it for this one. I know this was a little bit different than <laughs> I expected it to be and maybe a little different than you expected it to be as well. I was really pumped for one thing and uh, kind of had to shift gears a little bit there in the middle. But I'm glad I did and I'm glad I actually gave this monitor a chance. Um, it is definitely worth taking a look at. If you're interested in other reviews and or uh, you know hardware maintenance stuff, we've got a bunch of laptop stuff and uh, how to look around the channel a little bit, um, hit that sub button if you're interested in seeing this kind of content every couple of weeks. If it plugs in and turns on, it's going to end up on the channel at some point or another. All I have to say, I hope all of you have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever it is. It's it's night here now. This, this video took a very long time. So <laughs> I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.